हसरत है हमारी बाबा पर दो वो पूरी आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके
Shanti, perform the dance of harmonizing samskars, sweetness, your words. The harmonizing of samskars only takes place after there is sweetness within. It is only because of the variety of samskars that you become distant from one another. However, when there is sweetness in your words, the dance of harmony begins to take place. When the conference of the harmonizing of sanskars takes place, there will be cries of victory. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Welcome to Vikti Parivar. Today is day 21. Perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars. Today's topic, sweetness in your words. Now we will listen to Mahini Didi. Om Shanti. I think sweetness should be our our nature. Whether we smile, whether we speak or interact, mm -hmm. our words especially are needed to be very much creating a bond, creating peace, love amongst all of us, not get divided because of any reason, no conflict, harmonizing the sanskars, but by saying one of the important way to glorify Baba. They all look same, they smile same, they talk same, is generally what people think. But still we have to pay attention. I think you all must be aware that Avyakt Muli, which is read on Sunday, is revised whole week. We take a little part of it every evening so that we get it revised. Like this morning's morning. The revision is about 
the three lines of fortune. Sustenance is the main part in the sense of uh, Brahma creates and Vishnu sustains is the symbol, symbolic. Everything is within the picture of Vishnu. I won't take up now, but it's the sustenance, image of sustenance is Vishnu. Holiness, highness. Mm -hmm. Two crowns, light and jewels. And that is called holiness, highness. And also divine form, that is sweetness also. So that is why when we come to Baba, we are given aim and object to become like Vishnu. We look at the life of anyone, we can come to know what kind of sustenance they must have got from parents, from elders at home. It clearly kind of shows. Same as we are being sustained through the studies, through the teachings, right, we are sustained. Like when I feel that I'm being, I was sustained by dadis, the teachings, right? And teachings also not by scolding, not by checking on us, but setting a, a right example for us. How to do everything, how to be together, what should be our routine of the day. Everything was like, it's not they will only say it, but they do it, and it was very easy to do together. And sustenance also is visible through attainments. And attainment is not just material. What did I get from my family? No. It's the values, it's the principles, discipline, nature, all that is visible through sustenance. For fortune, all of, all of us, but my fortune to get sustenance also, not only it's just right sustenance with Brahma Bhava, with Dadis, with Mama, How polite, respectful, gentle, and sweet was Brahma Baba. Never got upset. Why to get upset about someone else's action? You are losing. And it's not by getting upset. You can set something now. Sometimes we feel that by getting upset, things will be better or learned. But if you want things to be better, setting everything but with sweetness. So we are God's children. We are children of Brahma, Baba and Mama. So, I like very much about when Baba talks of sustenance, study, and attainment. And all three are really connected, isn't it? Because you are what you are. Even when we come to Baba, Baba noticed about behavior, our nature, our... Baba noticed that some are very rough and some are more gentle and royal. Our royalty is visible through our sustenance.
So it's beautiful, Morley. So it's revision every day. Little part of Morley. We have so many things. Objective signal, we have blessing, we have slogan, <laughs> essence of Morley. It's all right. Whatever we remember, we become embodiment of that. That is important. That is why when people talk about changes in me and I don't feel much because I say, well, that's what I am. And I like when one of the sisters said today, when they were sharing, that she had been like that. It's not I have to be, yeah, we all progress, improve, learn, correct ourselves, more realizations. But basically that personality always is there. So Baba is saying that one of the quality which is very important to harmonize sanskars is sweetness. The harmonizing of sanskars only takes place after there is sweetness within. Try to forget things which are not good. <laughs> Don't keep thinking and talking about it. So that sweetness can stay. It is only because of the variety of sanskars that you become distant from one another. However, when there is sweetness in your words, the dance of harmony begins to take place. When the con Baba says, when the conference of the harmonizing of sanskars takes place, there will be they say cries of victory. I call it uh, victory of the voice, voice of victory, the words of victory. So now Baba is clearly saying that what will glorify Baba? We can do conferences, we can keep doing service. These are the ways to give message to everyone which we need to give. But for them to look at how we do things, our sweetness, our interaction with others, is impacts them. In the beginning when we started Harmony House, we are in an area, there are many different cultures and Jews and all religions around. So one of the mother used to come. I think she was at that time in her 70s or 60s. So when she will when go home, she will clean counters of kitchen. and So then one time her husband was a known person in this area. He came to visit Harmony House. He said, I wanted to come and see that why when my wife returns home, she starts cleaning. And now I know because your place is so clean that she just goes home and she feels she has to clean. That means when we are embodiment, we see something in practical, it naturally inspires others to do it. Because generally people think they need to clean twice a week or once in a week. But there is some kind of uh, feelings and the vibrations and the atmosphere when you clean properly and clean every day. I know that after, you know, this whole thing of infection and everything. 
my room area is clean every day and there is whole energy is different. So cleaning is not when there is dust or you see something dirty. There is one brother I always tell him about cleaning. He says my room is always clean. But how can it be clean without cleaning, right? <laughs> it's clean because there is no garbage or you can't see anything. But it's not possible in 24 hours not to have dust. You might not have big garbage, right? But dust is always there. That is why, like in India, when twice a day, twice a day they clean. They just clean like sweep and mop. And then they come in the afternoon where they dust everything. Windows and ventilators and everything. They don't dust in the morning because I think they want to finish basic cleaning. And then again they come. I hear the sound. They are cleaning windows and ventilators. So I think that anything we do it in practical, it's inspiration for others to do. You have to speak sweet. And then others will respond same way. But you are not sweet and you're saying to everyone, be sweet. We had a receptionist. Generally, we train people how to respond, answer the phones. So I will always tell her, please, can I talk to this one? Can you get this one for me? Like two, three methods in a very polite way. Because I don't know is not the answer, right? Answer is, let me find out. If you don't know, I don't know why I will call you, right? I am calling for help. And help is to find out. So I use different ways. Even when I call peacefully. In many different ways. Okay, if you can't find, can you find and let that person call me? And I found that, especially in one soul, she was quite strong when she had to answer. I couldn't find. I said, fine, fine, no. And with some, I just leave them and I said, okay, whenever you find, just let, let her call. So changes you can see immediately, as Baba was saying, sweetness in words, appropriate words. You're not just saying it, but you are putting something in others also, especially the words. Because we have to be very, very sweet, respectful, gentle. In our words, Om Shanti. Hmm. Hello. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, brother Eric. Om Shanti. I'm not that brother you were referring to, was I? <laughs> uh, which brother? I was referring to a brother. Yeah, the, the one who says they're clean but never dusts. Oh, no. You are very. I, I yeah. hope you clean every day, right? Yeah, I hope I do too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not you. I think about doing it uh, regularly. So I, I am more orderly than um, shiny. But uh, it was great to have you um, again regularly back at Harmony House this morning. And so lots of joy and happiness and sweetness was created there. So. Hope everybody on Parivar and in the um, the main hall and in the region was able to um, listen and be a part of that because uh, once again that was a wonderful gathering of the family, 
And I think uh, it was the um, embodiment of sweetness for everybody that you uh, shared and showed and um, brought into that room. So I want to thank you for coming. And so every Sunday, we'll look forward to that again. <laughs> yeah, when I am here, because <laughs> some Sundays I'm in peace with it. This right. summer is quite busy. Many yeah. retreats, many visits, many visitors coming. Okay. And some touring, too. You'll be uh, not here all the time. But also, it's a springtime, no? Yes. So everything is blossoming and tulips, and you know, it's beautiful. It's very nice. Yeah. So I um, hope you get out and see the sweetness of nature and um, hope the experience of the World Meditation Hour uh, and Earth Day was uh, pleasant for everybody. Because that's um, a big part, I think, probably of the two issues that, uh, two themes that you mentioned, um, is hearing each other and um, creating a bond as our sweetness. And so um, one with each other, but also um, today, um, Earth Day, this time of the year, um, where we have that relationship um, with ourselves as a part of nature. And so just kind of want to... Um, reinforce um, that aspect of the, the sustenance that we get, how to treat ourselves, how to treat each other, and how to treat nature. So, See, um, I like what I feel, that it's a kind of caring nature and caring for everything, whether it is nature or matter or human being or anything or all creation. Mm -hmm. So if there is a caring nature, then it's sustaining, it's uh, sweetness, everything just could come that, uh, you know, if I see something in front of me and I see that it needs cleaning, you know, and I say, it's all right. If somebody says, no, it's not my duty, my department, I shouldn't get into that. You know, but I like when somebody mentioned that we have to be natural. Some of the qualities are very important and they are very human. And one definitely is uh, sweetness. And uh, yeah. Um, in the, um, I want to say it was uh, in the class today, but it could have been the, the Bogue message. Um, a number of things were mentioned that I thought were very uh, intriguing mm -hmm. and tying that into the sweetness is I heard a number of um, I guess pairs, uh, such as detached and loving, busy and free. And I was wondering, um, is there something that we need to balance sweetness with? Or can we be only sweet um, and that's going to be sufficient? Is there some love and laws, one of the um, you know, kind of pairs that we have to balance? Do we have to balance sweetness with anything? That's a very good question. You have any thought in mind? Um, well, from the conversations and what it is, um, I guess you know, loving and detached. Um, is it enough to be loving? And then I guess the answer to that would be no. That we have to have uh, a little more control over how we interact. And so I'm going to say that the same is true for sweetness. That just being sweet and only sweet um, might cause us uh, some complications. That, if we're loving and only loving, um, but not able to put up um, appropriate limits, um, then we might find ourselves in some challenges. I don't know what the consequences of too much love would be if there's no law. Um, so sweetness, um, sometimes for lunch we have sweet and sour, but I don't think that's the, um, the uh, <laughs> quality that we're uh, trying to, you know, I don't think Baba ever wants us to be sour. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what the, um, the nor we can be, balance is. Nor we can be sweet and bitter. So. No. <laughs> no, but some are. Um, so we, uh, that's, that's uh, trying to change the sand scar. Maybe. I think that the firmness, uh, when you are asking this question, I'm uh, kind of looking at the time I spend and learn from Brahma Baba that he was very uh, honest and very sweet and very truthful. So I'm trying to see that uh, how did he 
balance it, what he balanced with. And I'm thinking that maybe firmness, maybe determination. Sweet and firm. Okay. Um, or, we'll challenge ourselves to, to come up with I know that uh, one of the things, not now, but a lot of people, uh, they say, oh, people always used to have fear from you. So I said, but I'm not a person people need to fear. And But then one quality or one thing I always liked with Dadi's mention to me also, that you always do your homework. So I didn't understand. I thought revision of Morley. But what this said, that when there is a situation, I always kind of process it. And so now I need confirmation, approval, whatever. So I go to Dadi and say, Dadi, this is what it is. What do you think? Daddy will always ask me, what do you think? So I, I think, well, I came to. But she knew that I would have already got answer. Zero. And then they will say, what do you think? And I tell. And Daddy Janki always used to appreciate that you don't come with like, not certain, not sure, maybe this, maybe this. But you always knew that what it could be maybe one or two possibilities, which they said it helped them. But also they like this quality that you don't put your problem on any situation on others and make them responsible to decide for you. But rather you do it, you take help, you decide and then again you. So I'm just thinking that uh, like Dadi Prakashmani, you know, one time I told her that the, I was in Guyana. I was already there for a year. But when I went to Madhuman, I don't know, I felt I'm too far away. And I said, Dadi, maybe someone else should go. And uh, so she, we were walking in the courtyard. Dadi said, can you suggest who can go? And uh, so I didn't say anything. Then next day we were again walking. And I said, Dadi, maybe I should go for one year, but the quality kind of service which has began need to be sustained at least for a while. So I will go for another year. So then that made me learn one thing that if Dadi wouldn't have asked and say, no, you have to go. I don't know what impact I would have or learned, but I learned that you have to give a choice. You have to allow people that their power to discern could grow and also sense of responsibility. After that, I learned that you can give in the sense you could be firm or you could be sweet. But how do we balance so that people, you know, they can have power to discern and that means every situation First one has to process it and uh, look at the right answers. It sounds like um, maybe the balance is responsibility. That uh, you can be responsible, but not be sweet. Um, but if you are both of those, you want to do what's right and have a, a yukti, a method to be able to do that with the sweetness, um, you're much more accomplished and that other element that you uh, mentioned, that sweetness creates a bond. That there's a relationship that grows when we can treat each other with that sweetness. The story you just said kind of uh, reflects and heightens in that quality that um, Dottie was sweet with you. She was understanding, she listened, but at the same time, um, the responsibility was never lost between either one of you and kind of recognizing that um, quality in both help build that bond that sweetness uh, forces for us. But also one time I wanted to go to Bombay or somewhere for two days and I asked her, Daddy, can I go? She said no. And she won't say why, no. So I didn't say anything. I said, okay, if you... Daddy said, no, I can't think of going. So we both were quiet in a way because that's what she wanted. But again, it's up to me. I can disobey 
or I can give another reasons. But after some time, then again, she called me and she said, why I said no. So sometimes Dadi Janki tells us that you satisfy yourself with your own thoughts, but you also have to satisfy other person. Otherwise, other one keep thinking and you say, I stop thinking. I mean, there are so many subtle things we learn from Dadis. Mm -hmm. I understood that um, you know, many times it will happen that Dadi say something and then she will say, what do you, th I said, I, I stopped thinking because you said it and I agreed. And she said, but you should respond to me because your thoughts have stopped, but other party is still thinking in the sense because they didn't get any proper reply or something. It's like sometimes I always think what is good for me. I stop thinking, but other person is still keep thinking. So how do I conclude my connection speaking in such a way that other person also can apply for this stop, you know? So just because something is resolved in our own minds, we should check um, what our relationships are and what the consequences of what we've been involved with so that it finishes in other minds also. Yeah, because there was something other person had been thinking and I knew it's not right, it's not true. And when I know that, I don't think further because I believe truth is truth. But after a little while, when Dadi found out that it was true, what other was saying was not true. So she told me, I said, Dadi, I am not thinking because it's not true. She said, oh, you should have told me also. I said, I was trying to tell you. She said, it's always good to tell so that other person can also understand and doesn't keep thinking. I mean, in relationship, you know, if you really understand what is respectful relationship, you will listen, you will communicate, you will know that I have been, I have put full stop, but other one must be still thinking, you know. And that is why one thing I learned about emails, which I never used to, when Sister Gayatri said, even if you feel you don't have to reply, but at least reply that I got the email so that, uh, you know, other person doesn't keep thinking that whether I got it or not. So, in, like, we learn these things, whether it's communication or relationships. Well, Sustana comes in many different ways. So, um, I've never seen Vishnu with a uh, computer or email, but um, maybe that's something that uh, one of his hands has that we don't see so easily. So, mm -hmm. So we'll continue and try to um, be sweet and um, see what we can do with that. But thank you very much for your firmness and your responsibility and your sweetness. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Om Shanti Avikti Parivar. So tomorrow is Monday and our schedule from Amrit Villa, 3.30 a.m. to 4.45 a.m. In the evening, 5 to 5.15 p.m. Avikti Children Mali class, but you will start at 6 p.m. followed by Hindi series, English series and Avikti Journey. Welcome to Avikti Journey. Avik Mooli is from 1969. Multi-million fold fortune and blessings. Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of the 14th of April, 1973. The power of gathering, one thought. This is the difference 
between their knowledge of the soul and this godly knowledge. There, they do not have the power of the gathering, but here you do. So it is through this speciality of godly knowledge that this time has been remembered in the world throughout the Kalpa. Where will the establishment of one religion, one kingdom and one direction take place? The speciality of the Brahmin gathering continues practically in the form of the deities. This is why you are asked whether the speciality through which wonders are going to be performed, through which your name is to be glorified, through which revelation is to take place, through which the ordinary and alaukic forms are to be revealed, is visible in a practical way. Are you ever ready in this speciality? Are you ever ready in the form of a gathering? The result of the previous kalpa is fixed anyway. But now, remove the veil. All the brides are behind a veil. Now, let your faith take the practical form. In some cases, the corporeal form becomes the subtle form. To put this into the corporeal form means to reveal the perfect form. The other day, you were told, that transformation has taken place in everyone, but that you now have to reveal the complete transformation. Each one has a basic main sanskar which you call nature. There shouldn't be the slightest trace of this remaining. At present, by saying this, you free yourself. When anything happens, you say, that was not my intention, but my nature and sanskars are like that. It is not like that. Is this called the perfect nature? The main sanskar of each one now was the original sanskar. Only when you transform this will you become perfect. Acha, we will continue tomorrow. Om Shanti.
प्रभु तेरा परम आकाश मन भावन घर रूहो का की कहानी सब रू है यहाँ की रानी बड़ी प्यारी है इसकी कहानी सब रू है यहाँ की रानी प्रभु तू राजा इस दे तेरी राजधानी संग तेरे राज करने की संग तेरे राज करने की यही होती पूरी आश यहाँ तू भी प्रकाश मैं भी प्रकाश भी है प्रकाश मन भावन घर रूहों का प्रभु तेरा परम आकाश मन भावन घर रूहों का शांति ओम शांति